In this class, as we work through the book, you'll need data from the back of the book. In Blackboard, I've posted the book in the appropriate chapter numbers, but you need to reference the data in the back of the book. If you were to buy the book from Amazon or from another seller, that CD would be in the back of the book and you can install it through your you know, CD reader or whatnot. But in this case, I've put the data from the back of the book in there. It's called MGIS data, Mastering GIS Data. Here's the folder of what it looks like. If I double click on it, it's got a number of folders, Austin, Black Hills, map documents, tons of different data here, hundreds of different files. If I look at the actual properties, you can see it's about 239 megs, uh, meg in size. 931 individual files. Now I want to give that to you. So what I've done is zipped it up and put it into one file so that you can access it. So as we go through the exercise, most of the exercises in my online GIS class have a part one where you read the book and answer the questions. They have a part two where you just follow the directions in the book for mastering the skills. And then as you go through, you answer the questions. And then part three, I give you an exercise called you know, exercise one underscore part three, where you apply the skills and the terms learned in part one and part two to open up an exercise for data that I've created in which you answer it. So with the MGIS data, you will need that for part two as you go through the skills and answer this. I can't stress how important following directions are, especially in an online course. So you need a folder called MGIS data. And I would imagine you'll probably be saving it in the same place with all the other class resources for this. Now, how do I give this to you? There's a couple different ways, but I've posted them in Blackboard. So under downloads, you'll see MGIS data. And what I'm gonna just talk about here is how to download data and unzip it. So typically, any file that you'll see, Exercise 1 or the uh, software, it's going to be in zip format because I don't want to put all those individual files, attach those. So you can click on it and you can download it. The download interface is going to look a number of different ways, but you can see zipped up, it's 101 meg. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit for it to download depending upon your band speed and all those other things. And you can see here it, it's downloading. You can see I've downloaded it a couple times already just to make sure it works. But you can see this file here means that it's zipped. Okay, meaning I can't go and open up these data individually. And real quick, I'm just gonna talk about the unzip process and we'll go from there. Okay. I can click on open, or show in folder, but when I show it in the folder, you'll just see what it looks like here. Okay. Now, a couple things I can do. I can click extract or I can right mouse click and just click on extract all because if I were to click inside of this, it's still within the folder right here. Okay, so either way, I'm just gonna click on extract, extract all or right mouse click and extract all. So I need to extract it and depending upon your version of Windows, it's gonna work the same way. So where do I wanna save it to? I'm gonna click browse and I'm gonna save this to my C drive and you save it to wherever you're storing your class resources. I would strongly suggest they be stored somewhere. I'm gonna save these in temp, and I'm gonna save these in demo, right here. I'm gonna click select folder. So I'm gonna save it in C temp demo, and extract. And now instead of having this one individual zip file, I'm gonna have all of these unstracted, extracted layers that you can store, uh, that you can access as part of exercise two. And so now when I go to my temp demo, there's my MGIS data and all of the data sitting in the back of the book.